The history of pizza begins in antiquity, as various ancient cultures produced basic flatbreads with several toppings. A precursor of pizza was probably the focaccia, a flatbread known to the Romans as panis focaceus, to which toppings were then added. Modern pizza evolved from similar flatbread dishes in Naples, Italy, in the 18th or early 19th century. The word pizza was first documented in a D997 in Gaeta and successively in different parts of central and southern Italy. Pizza was mainly eaten in Italy and by immigrants from there. This changed after World War II when Allied troops stationed in Italy came to enjoy pizza along with other Italian foods. Food similar to pizza have been made since antiquity. Records of people adding other ingredients to bread to make it more flavorful can be found throughout ancient history. In the 6th century BCE, Persian soldiers serving under Darius the Great baked flatbreads with cheese and dates on top of their battle shields. In ancient Greece, citizens made a flatbread called placus, 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 general placuntos, placuntos, which was flavored with toppings like herbs, onion, cheese, and garlic. An early reference to a pizza-like food occurs in the uh, Aeneid circa 19 BC, when Selaeno, the harpy queen, foretells that the Trojans would not find peace until they were forced by hunger to eat their tables. Okay, three. In Book 7, Aeneas and his men are served a meal that includes round cakes, like pizza bread, topped with cooked vegetables. When they eat the bread, they realize that these are the tables prophesied by Selaeno. Examples of flatbreads that survive to this day from the ancient Mediterranean world include focaccia, which may date back as far as the ancient Etruscans, manichish in the Levant, coque, which has sweet and savory varieties, from Catalonia, Valencia, and the Balearic Islands, the Greek pizza, lapinja in the Balkans, and piadina in the Romagna part of Emilia Romagna in Italy. Foods similar to flatbreads in other parts of the world include Chinese bing, a wheat flour-based Chinese food with a flattened or disc-like shape, the Indian paratha, in which fat is incorporated, the Central and South Asian naan, leavened, and roti, unleavened, the Sardinian carasau, spianata, gutio, pistocu, and Finnish riaska. Also worth noting is that throughout Europe, there are many similar pies based on the idea of covering flat pastry with cheese, meat, vegetables, and seasoning, such as the Alsatian Flammkuchen, German Zwiebelkuchen, and French Quiche. In 16th century Naples, a galette flatbread was referred to as a pizza. It was known as a dish for poor people, particularly as street food, and was not considered a kitchen recipe until much later. It was not until the Spanish brought the tomato from the Americas and developed the modern variation that pizzas in their modern conception were invented. It is said that the tomato reached the Kingdom of Naples and Sicily at the time part of the Spanish Empire through either Pedro Alvarez de Toledo in the 16th century or Viceroy Manuel de Amat, who may have gifted some seeds to the Neapolitans in 1770 on behalf of the Viceroyalty of Peru. In 1843, Alexandre Dumas described the diversity of pizza toppings an often recounted story holds that on June 11, 1889, to honor the Queen Consort of Italy, Margarita of Savoy, the Neapolitan pizza maker Raphael Esposito created the Pizza Margarita, a pizza garnished with tomatoes, mozzarella, and basil, to represent the national colors of Italy as on the flag of Italy. But the Pizza Margarita already existed. The most popular and famous pizzas from Naples were the Marinara, created in 1734, and the Margarita, which dates from 1796-1810. The latter was presented to the Queen of Italy upon her visit to Naples in 1889, specifically on account of the color of its seasoning, tomato, mozzarella, and basil, which are reminiscent of the colors of the Italian flag. Pizza evolved into a variety of bread and tomato dish, often served with cheese. However, until the late 19th or early 20th century, the dish was sweet, not savory, and earlier versions that were savory resemble the flatbreads, now known as shiakiakia. Pellegrino Artusi's classic early 20th century cookbook, La Cienza in Cucina e l'Arte di Mangiar Bain, gives three recipes for pizza, all of which are sweet. After the feedback of some readers, Artusi added a typed sheet in the 1911 edition, 
discovered by food historian Alberto Capati, bound with the volume with the recipe of pizzas a la Napolitana, mozzarella, tomatoes, anchovies, and mushrooms. However, by 1927, a Boni's first edition of Il, Talismano della Felicita, a well-known Italian cookbook, includes a recipe using tomatoes and mozzarella. The innovation that led to flatbread pizza was the use of tomato as a topping. For some time after the tomato was brought to Europe from the Americas in the 16th century, it was believed by many Europeans to be poisonous, as are some other fruits of the Solanacea nightshade family. By the late 18th century, it was common for the poor of the area around Naples to add tomato to their yeast-based flatbread. Thus, the pizza began. According to documents discovered by historian Antonio Matozzi in the State Archive of Naples, in 1807, 54 pizzerias existed. Listed were owners and addresses. In the second half of the 19th century, the number of pizzerias increased to 120. In Naples, two other figures connected to the trade existed. The pizza hawker Pizza Ziole Ambulante, who sold pizza but did not make it, and the seller of pizza but did not make it, and the seller of pizza Aga Otto, who made pizzas and sold them in. Return for a payment for seven days. The pizza marinara method has a topping of tomato, oregano, garlic, and extra virgin olive oil. It is named marinara because it was traditionally prepared by the seaman's wife La Marinara for her seafaring husband upon returning from fishing trips in the Bay of Naples. The margarita is topped with modest amounts of tomato sauce, mozzarella, and fresh basil. It is widely attributed to baker Raphael Esposito who worked at the restaurant Pietro. A basta cosi Pietro, and that's a cosi Pietro, established in 1880 and remaining in business as Pizzizier Brandy. Though recent research casts doubt on this legend, the tale holds that in 1889, he baked three different pizzas for the visit of King Umberto I and Queen Margarita of Savoy. The Queen's favorite was a pizza evoking the colors of the Italian flag. Green, basil leaves, white, mozzarella, and red, tomatoes. According to the tale, this combination was named Pizza Margarita in her honor. Although those were the most preferred, there are many variations of pizzas today. Association Veris Pizza Napolitana, True Neapolitan Pizza Association, which was founded in 1984, has set the very specific rules that must be followed for an authentic Neapolitan pizza. These include that the pizza must be baked in a wood-fired domed oven. The base must be hand-kneaded and must not be rolled with a pin or prepared by any mechanical means. I pizzazioli, the pizza makers, make the pizza by rolling it with their fingers make the pizza by rolling it with their fingers, and that the pizza must not exceed 35 centimeters in diameter or be more than one-third of a centimeter thick at the center. The association also selects pizzerias globally to produce and spread the Verace Pizza Napolitana philosophy and method. There are many famous pizzerias in Naples where these traditional pizzas can be found, such as Don Michel, Portalba, Brandi, Di Matteo, Sorbillo, Trianon, and Umberto. Most of them are in the ancient historical center of Naples. These pizzerias follow even stricter standards than the specified rules. For example, using only San Marzano tomatoes grown on the slopes of Mount Vesuvius and drizzling the olive oil, and adding tomato topping in only a clockwise direction. The pizza bases in Naples are soft and pliable. In Rome, they prefer a thin and crispy base. Another popular form of pizza in Italy is pizza al taglio, which is pizza al taglio, which is pizza baked in rectangular trays with a wide variety of toppings and sold by weight. In 1962, the Hawaiian pizza, a pizza topped with pineapple and ham, was invented in Canada by restaurateur Sam Panopoulos at the Satellite Restaurant in Chatham, Ontario. In December 2009, the Pizza Napolitano was granted protected designation of origin, PDO, status by the European Union in 2012 the world's largest. Pizza was made in Los Angeles. It measured 1261.65 square meters in area. In 2016, robotics company Behex, widely covered in the media, was building robots that 3D printed pizzas. In December 2017, the Pizza Napolitana was inscribed on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage Lists. Canada's first pizzeria opened in 1948 Pizzeria Napolitana in Montreal. 
The first pizza oven started entering the country in the late 1950s. It gained popularity throughout the 1960s, with many pizzerias and restaurants opening across the country. Pizza was mostly served in restaurants and small pizzerias. Most pizza restaurants across Canada also serve popular Italian cuisine in addition to pizza such as pasta, salad, soups, and sandwiches. Fast food pizza chains also provide other side options for customers to choose from, in addition to ordering pizza, including chicken wings, fries, and poutine, salad, and calzones. Pizza pops are a Canadian calzone-type snack introduced in the 1960s. Pizza chains across Canada can be found in shopping centers, schools, and neighborhood plazas, with the majority of these chains offering a sit-and-dine facility for customers. The most distinct pizza in Canada is the Canadian pizza. A Canadian pizza is usually prepared with tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, mushrooms, and bacon. Many variations of this pizza exist, but the two standout ingredients that make this pizza distinctly Canadian are bacon and mushrooms. Pizzas in Canada are almost never served with Canadian bacon or back bacon, as it is referred to in Canada. Rather, side bacon is the standard pork topping on pizza. In the province of Quebec pizza, Getty is a combination meal commonly found in fast food or family restaurants. It consists of a pizza sliced in half, accompanied by a small portion of spaghetti with a tomato-based sauce. Although both pizza and spaghetti are considered staples of Italian cuisine, combining them in one dish is completely unknown in Italy. A popular variant involves using spaghetti as a pizza's topping under the pizza's mozzarella cheese. Some of Canada's successful pizza brands include Boston Pizza and Pizza Pizza. Boston Pizza, also known as BP's in Canada, and Boston's The Gourmet Pizza in the United States and Mexico, is one of Canada's largest franchising restaurants. The brand has opened over 325 locations across Canada and 50 locations in Mexico and the U.S. The first Boston Pizza location was opened in Edmonton, Alberta in 1964 and operated under the name Boston Pizza, and operated under the name Boston Pizza, a location still opening across the nation. Pizza Pizza and its subsidiary chain Pizza 73 in Western Canada are among Canada's largest domestic brands based in Ontario. To date, they have over 500 locations nationwide and fill more than 29 million orders annually, with pizza gaining popularity across the nation. Major American pizza chains such as Pizza Hut, Domino's pizza chains such as Pizza Hut, Domino's Pizza, and Little Caesars have expanded their locations in Canada competing against the domestic Canadian brands. The major American pizza chains have brought their signature classic pizza recipes and toppings into their Canadian chains, offering their traditional classic pizzas to Canadian customers. However, the American chains have also created Canadian specialty pizzas that are available only in Canada. Pizza first made its appearance in the United States with the arrival of Italian immigrants in the late 19th century. According to a 2009 response published in a column on Serious Eats, the first printed reference to pizza served in the U.S. is a 1904 article in the Boston Journal. Giovanni and Gennaro Bruno came to America from Naples, Italy in 1903 and introduced the Neapolitan pizza to Boston. Later, Vincent Bruno, Giovanni's son, went on to open the first pizzeria in Chicago. Conflicting stories have the first pizzeria opening in 1905 when Gennaro Lombardi applied for a license in New York to make and sell pizza. One of the generally accepted first U.S. businesses to sell pizza, Lombardi's, opened in 1897 as a grocery store at 5312 Spring Street, with tomato pies wrapped in paper and tied with a string street, with tomato pies wrapped in paper and tied with a string sold at lunchtime to workers from the area's factories. In 1905, putative founder Gennaro Lombardi received a business license to operate a pizzeria restaurant and soon had a clientele that included Italian tenor Enrico Caruso. He later passed the business on to his son, George. Lombardi served as an incubator for many other pizzerias in New York, including Totano's in Coney Island, which was started by the original baker at Lombardi's, Anthony Totono, Perot in 1924. Pizza was brought to the Trenton area of New Jersey with Joe's Tomato Pies opening in 1910, followed soon by Papa's Tomato Pies in 1912. 
In 1936, DeLorenzo's Tomato Pies was opened. While Joe's Tomato Pies has closed, both Papa's and DeLorenzo's have been run by the same families since their openings and remain among the most popular pizzas in the area. Frank Pipa Pizzeria Napolitana in New Haven, Connecticut, was another early pizzeria that opened in 1925 after the owner served pies from local carts and bakeries for 20-25 years and is famous for its New Haven-style clam pie. Frank Peep's nephew, Sal Consiglio, opened a competing store, Sally's a Pizza, on the other end of the block in 1938. Both establishments are still run by descendants of the original family. When Sal died, over 2,000 people attended his wake, and the New York Times ran a half-page memoriam. The DeMore family introduced pizza to Los Angeles in 1939. In Chicago, two entrepreneurs, Ike Sowell and Rick Ricardo, invented Chicago-style deep-dish pizza in 1943. They opened their own restaurant on the corner of Wabash in Ohio, Pizzeria Uno. Before the 1940s, pizza consumption was limited mostly to Italian-Americans. Following World War II, veterans returning from the Italian campaign who were introduced to Italy's native cuisine proved a ready market for pizza in particular, touted by veterans ranging from the lowliest private to Dwight D. Eisenhower. By the 1950s, it was popular enough to be featured in an episode of I Love Lucy. Once it had become fully naturalized in the U.S., its market expanded in two different directions, through neighborhood pizzias and through pizza chains. By the 1970s, neighborhood pizzerias, often run by Italian or, later, Greek immigrants became a defining feature of life in cities and suburbs with significant ethnic Italian populations, most notably around New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Chicago. Such pizza joints usually also sell subs. Since the 1990s, gyros have also joined their standard repertoire. Competition among these small restaurants is quiet but intense leading to an average level of quality that often surprises visitors from elsewhere in the U.S. And then is a point of some regional pride. Pizza consumption has exploded in the U.S. with the introduction of pizza chains such as Domino's and Pizza Hut. Leading early pizza chains were Shakey's Pizza, founded in 1954 in Sacramento, California. Pizza Hut, founded in 1958 in Wichita, Kansas. And Little Caesars, founded in 1959 in Garden City, Michigan. Later restaurant chains in the dine and pizza market were Bertucci's, Happy Joe's, Monocle's, Pizza, California Pizza, Kitchen, Godfather's Pizza, and Round Table Pizza, as well as Domino's, Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, and Papa John's. Pizzas from take and bake pizzerias and chilled or frozen pizzas from supermarkets make pizza readily available nationwide. Thirteen of the U.S. population consumes pizza on any given day.